Welcome to Red Dead 2 and thanks for joining us. Today we're going to learn how to craft legendary ram batwing chaps and all you're going to need of course is 33 bucks and a legendary ram hide. So let's look at how you go about getting that and what we are going to do is travel to Cattail Pond which is just north of the Wallace Station, as you can see on the map on the left. What we're looking for is three clues. The first clue, of course, is the hardest to find. That's uh, this question mark in the compass uh, right here. What we are going to do is take our character to the spot where the question mark is, and then we're going to hold down that triangle button uh, to search for the first clue and that will lead us, of course, to the second clue. Now, to make this or any animal you're hunting easier to find, you may want to consider using the tracking feature, which can be activated by pushing in both the L3 and R3 buttons. That's the left analog stick and right analog stick in at the same time. And that will uh, slow things down and give you uh, like a good view of where this animal's trail is leading and stuff. And hopefully help you find the thing. One thing you may or may not know about these clues is that for each one of them you have to hold down the triangle button as we're gonna see in just a minute here. Now one of these legendary animals I was able to circumvent uh, a couple of the clues so that's something to keep in mind as well but here we are we hold down the triangle button and we uh, finish up clue number two. Where are you? Not here. As we begin to search for clue number three, there's one question that many of you may have, and that is, what weapon do I use? And the good news is, you can pretty much choose whatever you want. You don't have to worry about the pelt quality. Now, of course, we happen to be using the repeating shotgun, but uh, you can pretty much choose whatever you want. One caveat I would throw out there is, I tried dynamite arrows with another legendary animal and I got the thing down, but I was not able to skin it. Okay, we got the third and final clue. Now it's time to use some Deadeye. To activate Deadeye, all you need to do is push in the R3 or right analog stick button. Next to tag it, you can push R1. And then of course, once you've got that set, when you're ready to shoot, you can uh, just push the R2 button and you're good to go. Now that we have this legendary animal down, all we need to do, of course, is go ahead and skin the thing, which we can do by going up to it and uh, holding down that uh, triangle button. And of course, on the right side, we've got a nice slow motion replay of the type of shot you need to get the job done here. Uh, one thing I would strongly recommend considering and that is, uh, you should try to save your game just in case something weird happens. I know that these pelts are sent directly to the trapper. So if something happens, they'll still be there. But just, you know, if you had a power outage or something like that, you may want to consider saving your game. Now all we need to do is get on our horse and visit one of the five different trapper locations uh, throughout the game. Which one you choose, of course, is up to you. Uh, we're going to go to the one by uh, Tall Trees for this one right here. Now that you've managed to get all the ingredients, we are at the trapper. I assume you know how to sell this guy. So what we are going to do is buy from him. We're going to hold down the L2 button. And we're going to hold down the triangle button to buy. Now we're going to go to garment sets. Hit X to select. We're going to scroll down to item number seven, the stalker. Hit X to select. Now we are going to go down to the legendary Ram Batwing Chaps. And we're going to hit X to craft. And that's it. You've got it crafted. And you can back out, of course, with the uh, circle button. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck. <laughs>